Chris at Tommy Toothpaste Toys here and welcome to another haul video and addition to my collection video. Welcome back all, um, hope you're all safe and well. I am and Welcome back all, I hope you're all safe and well. As you can see by my hair, um, still no haircut, as I'm sure loads of you guys haven't had any yet. Um, yeah, it's getting pretty crazy now. Um, quite unmanageable, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna attempt to try and cut some of it, I don't know. So we'll see how that goes. Um, just a little update, so I have picked up a few bits of stock um, pick up a couple of bundles online and on eBay of some figures and also my wife has found some in the local area um, at some sort of little yard sales and stuff like that and she got a few little bargains on there as well so got some more stock turning over in this period um, and also to show you something else that I had bought for myself another little collection that I've started adding to which really wasn't meant to and I was trying to save as much money as possible especially gearing up for the boot sales which have started to open up in my area the first one will be next week I think midweek which is the one in Arming Hall Norwich one and then I know the Harford one which there's going to be some big changes there um, will be in July the beginning of July so I can't wait for the July ones I think I'm going to stay out of them for June as much as possible anyway so I'm definitely not going to go to the first few um, wait for everything to die down, you know, this whole crazy world we're living in at the moment. Anyway, enough of that. I will show you what we've got. So I'll start with all the stuff that my wife picked up. Um, she went to a couple of yard sales, I think it was, and there was a box of just three bits. Um, so she just had a little look and brought some stuff back. Surprised me when I got home. So I'll show you what we've got. A few cool bits in here, actually got this little guy can't remember what he's for, from but he's from the ty beanie baby uh, company i got this little wonder woman beanie egg thing i can't remember what the hell it's called it's called something i did look it up at some point just gonna fall over see what it does um a few random little bits some sort of pet things and accessories not sure what they are and then loads of McDonald's, Burger King toys, you know, Pokemon ones. Not sure what that one's from. It's from 2008. Um, Monkey Shot one. 2008 is too late for Tarzan, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. SpongeBob. Loads of little bits here. Um, some weird little balls. Loads of stuff. I'm not going to get them all out, but some cool little bits. But all like McDonald's toys. Um, then she did pick up a cool few, almost a complete set of Flubber McDonald's toys. So there's that one and one in its packet. This weird sort of one. Um, and I do also have the man himself in the car with a little sort of flippy thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, that was a cool little find. And then the two best things she managed to find, bearing in mind this is all for free. This little guy, which looks pretty crazy, so I was actually looking, should I keep him? I don't know, he looks pretty nuts. <laughs> I quite like him, but I've got enough stuff, you know, I'm not going to start accumulating something else that I clearly don't collect or I've no, never seen before. This is from, I think his name is Lucho, or Lucha, from a Spanish TV show. And they actually do quite well, because they're actually quite rare, especially in, you know, in England and stuff like that. Um, and they do all right. I think I've seen one of him sell for nine pounds, which was the cheapest, and then up to about 22 quid for him. And then some of them are on buy it now for really high prices, but they got some clothes with him. So I assume there's different types. Um, yeah, so I was quite impressed with that. But the best one, um, and she did actually say there was another one of these. There's, there was two of them. One was a John Cena, but a little kid had already grabbed it, as it was free, which I can't believe but got a Rey Mysterio brawling buddies. So he's cool and he does make sounds. So pretty cool actually, really like him. So, and they do really well. Um, 
about 18, it's 22 quid I think. Seen some of them go a bit cheaper, but the bike now price is roughly about that and he's in really good condition, so. Great little bargain you picked up there. Yeah, so all of these bits and that bag of McDonald's toys, some more of these, free. So that's pretty nuts. Um, so that's great. Um, I'm just going to do all the cost because they've got some cool bits. Right, so I picked up a bundle of toys. I'll just move that bag. So the noise. Um, I picked this bundle up for, I think it was a tenner. I think it was 11, no, 11 pounds total postage. It was eight pounds I got the bundle for. Um, because there was a few bits I saw and I thought, hmm, they look alright. There's loads of other stuff, but there's some cool bits. So, big bag like this. Um, there was a few bits that I saw that I was going to keep for myself as well. So I thought that anything, any bundles like that, I always see as a bonus. Because you, in theory, if you make your money back on it, like if I sell it all for, let's just say, a total of even just 20 quid, I've made a tiny bit of profit and I've added stuff to my collection for nothing. So, um, it's always good when it's like that. Now the first thing that was in there that caught my eye was little turtle figure, tiny little SWAT team. Donatella, I think it is. His purple's quite light. Yeah, it's definitely Donatella. Um, really cool looking. And he's like a mini figure, so he'll go in my 2007 show. Awesome. Everyone knows that I love the 2007 CGI line. And then about... Hmm. I can't remember what it was. Last year, at the end of last year, I think, my wife found in a charity shop this little guy and I kept him because he's pretty cool. This Frankenstein sort of car guy. What's it called? I've forgotten the name of these. But they're by the brand's creator. Um, and he's really cool and I found out there's loads more of them. Anyway, in this bundle there was four of them and they're in really good condition. So I'll leave them there. I got... This little crazy alien thing, which looks a bit like the guys from The Simpsons, a little bit. Really nice detail on him. This sort of crypt keeper guy in a hearse. I mean, look at that. The hand coming out the back. The detail on these cars are actually really cool. Got that. Got a vampire. Really nice. Love the detail of these guys. And I really like this one. He's like a Jekyll and Hyde sort of guy. And the car's half half as well. Looks awesome. So they were pretty cool. They were in that. It's always nice to add to the collection. Um, I'll get this bag back on. I got. Doo -doo 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 -doo. A couple of Fisher Price Robin Hood figures. And I've already got an Archer as well, which I've picked up. A while ago and I've had for ages and then put up make a little bundle there for, for some of the collectors um, I'll just tip out everything here got this Power Ranger figure totally forgotten his name but he does all right a little bit beat up got this one can't remember his name um, I was gonna say Mulder but it's not Mulder it begins with M and ends with R um, Muda or something or something like that anyway um, oh, figures. Got an Obi Wan. Got a few little wrestling figures, which I got a couple of these already, so I'll make a nice little bundle. Little Splinter from Half Shell Heroes. A wrestler. Some weird little sort of bootleg Aladdin thing. I can't work out what this guy is from. It feels a bit oldy, but no stamps again, so probably not old. This little girl, I think she's Cabbage Patch, I think. 1984. Can't remember. Looks a bit like Cabbage Patch dolls though. Um, loads of other random little figures here. Little My Little Ponies and what looks like Pirates of the Caribbean. Little This Pet Shop. Some little Marvel figures. And then I also got some cool. Um, Get a cool SpongeBob SquarePants one here, but he's really beat up, which is a shame. Um, 2008, and it's a Bully Land one, so just a shame he's so beat up, but he's cool. I mean, what's his name? Is it Krabby? I think he's called Krabby, I don't know. Um, got where's that other one? Lost him, lost him. 
me chuck me. Ah, here we go. Two figures. And now I know Chuck May do these, right? Um, Chuck May are, in case you don't know, really love Chuck May figures. They're these little figures that you um, you'll see loads of them. They do loads of different styles. They do knights. They do uh, monsters. They do cavemen. They do anything like prisoners and like weird ogres sort of thing. And they're bootlegs basically of other toy lines but they're not exact direct copies as far as I'm aware they're just really awesome the weights of them are great the detail on them is outstanding on some of the figures so because of this they've actually got quite a bit following and loads of overseas um, buyers that I sell to like collectors um, especially in America they really like Chuck May figures so they always do well but you see them all the time just sitting at stalls because mm, everyone thinks they're just rubbish they're just well, they are, they're bootleg figures, but no one ever picks them up. Well, I have a funny feeling these are direct copies of Chat Maze, but I don't think they are Chat Maze because, although this one has the weight of a Chat Maze, because they are quite solid when you feel a Chat Maze figure, they're not stamped at the bottom and they normally are always stamped. Anyway, I'll stop talking about it, but I'll show you that guy. He's like an ogre, he's quite beat up. Oh. Not really stands. And this weird prisoner, which really doesn't feel like a chapman, it feels almost hollow inside, so he's very cheap, almost pound shop style. Um, I also got, which is something that stood out on this bundle, which is all in this same bundle, a few Kellogg's things. So I got a 1970s Coco, I got Tony the Tiger playing football, um, where's the other one gone? Uh, I got a rollerblade in Tony the Tiger. And I got which are quite sought after all the time. Animaniacs. People love collecting Animaniacs. They are cool anyway. I used to love this when I was a kid. Little Kellogg's figure. And then I got this isn't Kellogg's, but it's from Big Red Fun Bus or something like that. Little Mechanic. And they do alright, sell for a few quid, so some cool little buys in there. Um right, I'll show you the next lot I got, which came today, which I was waiting for to do this video. Um, this was a cooler bundle. So, talking of chat mains. Sorry, I'll stop the rustling in a minute. There's loads in there. But there's other toy lines as well. Oh yeah, sorry, in this bundle was also this guy. I can't remember, his name is Car or something like that? Or Car or Car? I think it's Car. From Jurassic Park. So he's a cool little figure. Jurassic Park always does well. Right, let's go through these. There's a few little Lord of the Rings figures. Excuse me, but... I don't really like Lord of the Rings, sorry, I know. Um, so I'm going to get loads of these names wrong, or I'm not even going to attempt because I don't have a clue. I mean, I don't know who that is. Who knows? That is Gandalf, I'm sure it is. Now these ones are the smaller sort of figures. They're not the bigger 6-inch, 7-inch figures. These are. I've got none of these, I've never seen these, but I've got a few of the other ones which I've got as a little bundle, which I'm going to add to because I've got some more here. Or it appears as I've got some more here. This guy, some sort of person. It's not an orc. It doesn't look like an orc. They're quite muscly orc, aren't they? Can't remember. Um, this guy, but he doesn't look like he's from. Looks like more he's from Pirates of the Caribbean or something. Yep, it's stamped Disney, so definitely looks like Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, this looks more like Lord of the Rings. Do, 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 do. Any more Lord of the Rings? Legolas is that? I think that's Legolas. All I know Bloom as I know. This guy, if I can get him out. Massive Wolf. This is why I think this is from the larger ones, because there's no way these ride those, surely. Do they? Or is it something like Game of Thrones where they're like really massive wolves? I don't know. He's not going to stand up. Got... This guy from Warriors of Virtue, and I've got another Warriors of Virtue figure somewhere. So I know they don't sell for much at all, so I'm probably going to put him together and make a little bundle, and maybe it'll sell a bit quicker. Fantastic Mr. Fox, Ratty, or Rat, or whatever he's called. Oh, this is actually a McDonald's one, so that's a bit gutting, because I know these do quite well, these normal figures. But um, Oh, Count Dooku there, which was in the other job lot. I mixed those up by accident. Got a little 
It's not Frodo by the looks of it. It doesn't look like Frodo. It could be. That should be a really bad face mold, but tiny little one there. As if they're not small enough, he's even smaller. This guy, not sure what he's from. It looks like something from Last Airbender or something, but a little bit beat up, but he's pretty cool. I got, uh, always nice to find, a Jazzware Shadow. These do really well, and they do, they command some good prices sometimes, these Jazzwares. Got a really nice looking Horrid Henry figure, and didn't even know they made figures of this, but he's really nice, solid as well. 2009. Awesome. Sorry, that's pretty cool. Um, also got this little turtle guy. I'm not sure if I got this one. If I don't, I'll keep him. Got this guy, which I've got the sword somewhere, so I'll make a complete figure there. Um, got his belt. I need to sort that out because it should be around the top of his shoulder. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Let's go with that. And there should be another attachment still as well, so we'll find out. I'm sure I've got parts of the belt. Got a cool Halo figure. Really awesome looking. Red. Um, I got this guy. If he's not worth anything, I'm keeping him because he's awesome. Um, and he's right on my street. Sort of Wolfman sort of guy. Cartoon Network 09, so who knows, but he is pretty cool. Try and get him to stand, he's not going to stand. Okay. Right, and then, so like I said, speaking of Chapman, loads of Chapman figures here. Well, not loads, but a good few. So, like I said before about the detail. Make sure I put the this one right. Two knights, which are the same. I need to put batteries in them to see if they work, because they're meant to light up. But really cool. Um, I got... And this is what I was saying about making bundles of these guys. They really do well as bundles. And I sell them so fast when um, I put them up as a few little bundles of the same sort of style. So I got three pirates. And like I said, some of these can command some good prices sometimes. I've sold some of the monstery sort of alien -y ones for like seven, eight quid each. So, um, and then some bundles. Sometimes I put just a couple of random figures that I've just got built up. And they just sell in no time, and they're something like four or five quid. So, pretty awesome. So I've also got this guy, which is like some sort of safari sort of guy or something. And then I've got these two, which... What's this guy? Lanard Corpse, so that's... No, it's not even a corpse. Actually, it might be, because... 2010, hmm. Looks a bit different. Looks sort of the style of corpse, but they look a bit looks a bit more solid as opposed to the GIY stuff, GI Joe style. Got a big head. Um, 2010. Mm, that is sort of the time where, for some reason, everyone had big feet, big heads, big hands. I don't know what was going on there, but it was all a bit nuts. Um, still going on now, you know, with all the pop sort of stuff and all that. Um, and then I've got this guy, not stamped with anything. He looks like sort of old GI Joe articulation, but he's too good condition so it's obviously something from not that long ago just some weird sort of man builder stroke big belted for some reason really weird big belt and big ass not sure what's going on there um so that's that that's everything i've got for stock wise so i've got loads of items to flick to go through loads of cool little things to investigate really nice i love bundles like this because you can always end up normally making your money back um, if not, you can add to your collection if there's something cool in there, like those cars and this little wolf guy. Right, um, now for the good bits. I'll make a little bit of space here and I'll show the stuff I got for myself. Um, so I said last video when I bought these Defenders of the Earth figures, I wasn't going to get any more. Not any more Defenders of the Earth, I wasn't going to get any more items for a while because I was trying to save my money. Which I'm meant to be doing at the moment, because uh, boot sales aren't in their abundance or anything like that. But I couldn't pass up on these. I've already got one of these figures, um, Little Dracula. I've got the Wear Bunny up there, which I picked up about a year ago or something like that, and it just stayed there because I love the look of them. A bundle of these figures came up with some of their accessories, and I was like, oh man. 
ended up picking them up because they're awesome. Um, so I'll go to the first one, which is the Wear Bunny again, which I've already got. So I'll sell this guy and move this guy on. But this guy had his baseball bat, which is quality. Um, and he also came with his little, God knows what it is, little sidekick or little figure, tiny little hairy ball with vampire teeth and big nose. Very odd looking. I've got, some of these figures are so cool. Um, maggot, really nice looking, with like sticky pads, so it'd be awesome to stand up sticking against the glass or something like that. I think I'm going to make a little horror shelf, because I'm really getting into it now and I've got quite a lot building up, so I might have to move some turtles across and make a horror shelf. Who knows, maybe I need to get another cabinet, but that's another conversation, I'm not even going to get into that trailer fort at the moment. I got... The man with no eyes, really nice looking, and he actually commands a bit of a higher price, I think he goes for about eight or nine quid um, before accessories, and I've also got this attachment and these two attachments for drill and some sort of, looks almost like a barrel of a gun, looks a bit odd, don't know what that is, some sort of plunger. Um, twin beaks with his cape. And also with one of their hats. And it's not a cat of nine tails, but it's a cat of three tails. Pretty cool. I got Deadwood. Oh yeah, another cool thing about these is some of them are like normal figures. Um, some of them are like sticky. Some of them have got a little mechanism that he swings his arm. Some of them are bendables. I really like that they're all a bit different. They're pretty cool. It's like they're all, you can tell they're all the same line, but they're all a bit different in what they do. Oh, I forgot to say, I've got the little shovel thing for Twin Beaks, which is, I've never understood this. I mean, it's like a flat thing and it's got a shovel head. Don't know what that's meant to be. I got little Dracula himself. I think he's missing a cape and his hat, but He's got his wand. Big stand up. And two little bats. Two little, I don't know if you're going to see these, but two little piggy bats. And then last but definitely not least, this guy's so cool. And he does command a higher price as well. I got Garlic Man. With everything, his backpack, his gun, and the little sort of garlic that shoots out. Awesome looking figure, I really like him. Stand him up there. Is he going to stand up? He's going to leave like that. Yes, yeah, so I picked all those seven up with accessories, and it's always nice I can make a bit of money off one of them because I'm going to sell him on. Um, 40 quid. So I was well chuffed to pick up those. Really nice, and they're going to take pride of place in my cartoony horror section, or whatever you call it. Um, so that is everything. So as you can see, there's loads for me to get through. Um, loads of things for me to enjoy as well, on my shelf. Um, yes, um, car boots are gearing up soon, so hopefully the next video I do will be of a car boot haul. Hopefully I'm not picking up any more bits, because I've got enough to get through now, to get through June until July, until the car boots open. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. Um, sorry about the video thing. I had a bit of blurry issueness again. Really need to get a new camera because this keeps happening to me and I have to keep recording the video multiple times, which is fun. Um, like and subscribe, like I said before. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Leave some comments below. If you're interested in anything, all of this will be up on Instagram, on Facebook, on my eBay store. Just search for Tommy Toothpaste Toys, all one word. Um, or at to move to two face toys. Um, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Here's the